Hello everyone, how are you all? I am doing fantastic. So today we are going to see a quite an out of the box kind of a recipe for tomato blues. The last weekend when I went into the kitchen and decided to make lunch, I was super bored to make the regular rasam, sambar, kutu or you know the rotis and sabzis and pulav. So I decided we all need a break from the regular Indian fare and I decided to switch gears to making Mexican. We all love Mexican food at home because maybe you know it's very similar to the Indian cuisine. Now do not be intimidated at the mention of Mexican because this recipe or rather this combination of recipes is something that you can easily put together with the ingredients available easily in your pantry. So today I am going to show you all how to put together a burrito bowl. This burrito bowl is actually a deconstructed version of a burrito which is basically a wrap. This is how it is served in many uh, authentic Mexican restaurants. The Chipotle is a very popular restaurant that does this. But over the years, I think the burrito has evolved and this is how a burrito ball looks. This video is a combination of 5 to 6 recipes. So come on, let's get started. To begin with, let us prep our base. We are going to make a rice base today for which I am soaking 1 cup of basmati rice in about 2 to 3 cups of water after washing the basmati rice thoroughly. Washing the rice is very very important because it helps to get rid of all the starch and the rice cooks evenly when you do this step. Now I am adding 2 cups of water and I am going to soak our rice for 20 minutes. While the rice is getting soaked, let us get on to doing our next step in the burrito bowl. This is basically putting our beans together. I have used frozen rajma or kidney beans or pinto beans. Uh, I froze this at home by myself. I have used 2 cups of frozen rajma or kidney beans. The traditional chipotle style burrito bowl actually uses black beans. So feel free to substitute with black beans or red beans in case you do not have these rajma or kidney beans. Now if you would like a video on how to freeze your own pulses please leave a comment in the comment section and I will surely upload the video for this. Now I am going to thaw this frozen beans for which I am adding enough hot water to immerse the beans. I am going to let this sit for a couple of minutes and then I am going to get started with the gravy. To begin with, I am going to prepare our gravy today in a pressure cooker. I am adding one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. This is actually a stainless steel pressure pan. So this is like of a 3 litre capacity to which I have added 1.5 tablespoons of olive oil. You can use any vegetable oil which is neutral flavoured. Now to this I am adding 2 teaspoons of minced garlic. And once the garlic begins to brown, I am adding about half a cup of finely chopped onions. You can use red, white, yellow, whichever one floats your boat over here. Now you can see how similar this beans recipe is to our desi wala rajma recipe. In a way, this burrito bowl is very similar to our rajma chawal. So, once we've added the onions, I have sauteed it till it becomes pink and soft. Now, I've added one teaspoon of red chili powder. I'm using a half a teaspoon measure here, so please don't get confused. Now, to this, I'm adding one teaspoon of cumin powder. And then, I'm going to sort all of this on low flame for about 30 to 40 seconds. This is to get rid of the raw smell of the chilli powder and the cumin powder. Now once this is all sauteed nicely, we are going to get on to our next step which is adding our prepped beans. You can see that the beans have been thawed nicely and I am adding all of the 2 cups of our rajma to this. Okay, now if you really want to cut short your cooking time for this and if you are someone who is living in the west or even in Singapore, you will find canned beans everywhere. Just look for canned black beans in any supermarket and that is what you can use. Now I am adding salt to taste and I am going to give this all a very good mix. And the next step would be to pressure cook these beans till soft and mushy. I am not going to cook it to a complete mush but I am going to cook it till they are soft. I am adding 3 to 3.5 cups of water. So what I have basically done is I have added 3 to 3.5 cups of water for 2 cups of frozen beans. Let us close this and let us also put the pressure ball or the weight on. And I am going to cook this like I said 
for 5 to 6 whistles. After 5 to 6 whistles, I let the pressure release naturally and this is how our beans look. Now, the process does not end here. Mix all this well once and you can see that there is a lot of water left. We are going to further simmer this till all the water is evaporated. I am also going to use a masher like you see in the video and I am going to mash the beans lightly. Now I am going to continue simmering these beans for about 4 to 5 minutes until almost all of the water is gone from the gravy. Again, the amount of water in the gravy is completely a personal choice. We prefer it to be slightly on the thicker side and the creamier side, which is why I'm going ahead with this step. If you're comfortable with more gravy, I'm sorry, a more watery gravy in your uh, beans base, then feel free to adjust the consistency according to your taste. Now, remember, all of this can come down drastically if you use canned black beans or canned red beans. I'm so sorry friends, the camera shook a little bit. I'm extremely sorry. Now, if you can see the water has reduced, our beans are not fully dry. They are a little moist, you know, and slightly thick and creamy. To this, let us add one and a half tablespoons of finely chopped cilantro leaves or coriander leaves. Give it a good mix. And that's it, my friends. Our beans base or the beans gravy for the Mexican burrito bowl is all done. I'm going to scoop it up into a bowl and I'm going to set it aside till we are ready to serve our Mexican burrito bowl. Now, once we have done this, let us get on to the next step, which is cooking our rice. We are going to make a Mexican style cilantro lime rice today. For this, I am adding the soaked basmati rice to a pan. I'm going to be open cooking the rice till it is tender and fluffy. In this pan, I'm using a stainless steel pan today. To this soaked basmati rice, I'm adding 4 cups of water. Feel free to add as much water as you like. But remember, if you add more water, the cooking time also becomes longer. Now let's add salt to taste to the rice. What we are essentially going to do is we are going to cook the rice till it's completely done. I'm not going to cook it to a mush. I'm going to cook it in such a way that it is done, holds its shape and yet it is cooked completely. So this takes about 8 minutes approximately on medium to high flame. Give it, give it all a good mix. Wait for the water to come to a rolling boil and continue to cook till the rice becomes completely done. But remember friends, it shouldn't be mushy. So if you can see the rice is all done. Now I'm going to be straining this or rather draining this in a colander. Can you see how beautifully fluffy our rice is? Now this is how our drained rice looks. To this, I'm going to add further seasonings and flavors and complete our cilantro lime rice. Now, a small note about this rice, you can also use short grained rice for this recipe. I'm adding one teaspoon of butter to the cooked rice along with lime juice. Please do not use lemon juice for this recipe. You're supposed to use lime juice because lime has a distinct flavor that is not at all very similar to lemon. So, let us add one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lime juice and at this point you can also adjust the salt if necessary now like I said this is a cilantro lime rice so I am adding quarter cup of finely chopped cilantro or coriander leaves and once we have added all this I am going to use a fork and I am going to gently mix it all up so coming back to the variety of rice that you can use you can also use brown rice for this particular Mexican burrito bowl for a healthier alternative. Now, like I said, use a fork and give it a good mix. Do not forget to adjust your seasonings at this point of time. Butter again is optional, but it helps to keep the grains separate. So I've added butter. You can also use a teaspoon of vegetable oil in place of butter if you're particularly looking for a vegan option or if you want, you know, a low fat option. So this is how our cilantro lime rice looks. Let us scoop it up in a bowl. And like I said, let us set it aside until we are ready to make our Mexican burrito bowl completely. So now let's get on to the third recipe. This is a very super easy, super quick recipe. Uh, this is basically a type of salsa which is called as pico de gallo or salsa fresca in the Mexican cuisine. I'm adding one cup of finely chopped tomatoes, half a cup of finely chopped onions, 
one small green chili finely chopped if you want a milder version go for jalapenos i'm adding 1 teaspoon brown sugar and let us add salt to taste there are some people who also add cumin powder to this but i skipped it let us add finely chopped coriander leaves that is 1 tablespoon now again let us add 1 to 2 teaspoons of freshly squeezed lime juice depends on the sourness of your lime now take a spoon and give it all a good mix making sure that you bruise the tomatoes a little bit as you mix this is just to release the beautiful flavors in this excellent vibrant dip now that you've done all this let us come to the finishing touches of our salsa fresca or pico di gallo let us add a sprinkle of freshly cracked black pepper and that's it let we are going to you know mix this all up and we are going to let it sit in the fridge till we are going to serve it up in our mexican burrito bowl now like i said you can use this as a part of your chip and dip bowl during your parties it makes a fantastic dip with all your tortilla chips or your nachos so that's it my friends our salsa fresca is ready let us get on to our next recipe which is recipe number 4 now let us amp up the nutrition factor in our mexican burrito bowl let's make a quick stir fry i'm going to use whatever i had with me today in the fridge feel free to experiment with the stir fry with whatever vegetables that you have at home in your fridge so i've added olive oil to the pan and i'm crackling about 3/4 of a teaspoon cumin seeds once the cumin seeds crackle we are going to add 1 teaspoon of minced garlic again you can see how similar the mexican cuisine is to our indian cuisine let us add quarter cup of sliced onions uh the mexican cuisine uses a lot of cumin and chilies like us so now to this let us add one small green bell pepper which has been cut into strips like i said you can experiment with the combination of veggies according to whatever you have in the fridge you can use multiple colored uh, bell peppers you can use broccoli i have taken one cup of zucchini today which has been cut into thin fingers and a quarter cup of sweet corn if you're really feeling you know uh, up for some extra effort you can also toss in a couple of paneer cubes into this to give a really desi touch to the mexican burrito bowl uh you can also add carrots uh, cauliflower broccoli pretty much anything that has a crunch works really well in this particular stir fry i'm adding salt to taste and i'm making this whole stir fry on high flame please do not make it on low flame if you make it on low flame then your veggies will become soft it wouldn't be crunchy we do not want to lose its shape and we do not want to lose the crunch the more the crunch the better your stir fry so that's that's what exactly a stir fry concept is all about so we are only going to you know uh, cook them until just done i'm adding 1 teaspoon of red chili powder over here and in goes half a teaspoon of cumin powder if you have smoked paprika feel free to substitute it for the red chili powder that i've added here now let us give it a good saute and like i said we are going to cook this for about 3 to 4 minutes on high flame and that's it our beautiful colorful crunchy veggie stir fry is good to go to be served with our mexican burrito bowl you can use the leftovers in this particular veggie stir fry to stuff it into sandwiches or you can use it in wraps of your choice for a healthy breakfast So our recipe number 5 is probably the most favorite thing about a Mexican burrito bowl for me. This is basically an avocado mash. Uh, this is not guacamole. This is uh, because guacamole is like you know it has a lot of onions, tomatoes and stuff like that. I'm using one avocado here to which I've added 1 tablespoon of lime juice. I'm going to go in with a fork and I'm going to mash it till it's completely mashed and it almost resembles mashed potatoes or butter or whatever you want to call it a few lumps here and there is completely okay because we are not going to use it as a sandwich spread so this is how our mashed avocado at this point looks to this i'm adding one clove of garlic which has been minced finely and one green chili uh, which has been chopped finely i did remove the seeds from the green chili i'm also adding salt to taste and now i'm going to use a spoon or a fork and i'm just going to mix this all up and we are going to chill it in the fridge until we are ready to serve our delicious mexican burrito bowl so uh, you can skip this particular recipe if you do not find avocados so let's get on to the next one which is our hung yogurt or hung curd dip 
I've taken 3 4th of a cup hung yogurt to which I'm adding salt to taste. Let's add a sprinkle of freshly cracked black pepper. Uh, now you can also use sour cream in place of this uh, yogurt. I did not find sour cream that particular day so I just went with hung curd or hung yogurt. I just hung uh, 2 cups of freshly set yogurt, thick yogurt which I made using full fat milk for about 2 hours and this is what I got. So once you've added the salt and the black pepper, let's give it a good mix and put it back in the fridge. And that's it. Now all our components for the Mexican burrito bowl is ready. So friends, let's get started assembling our Mexican burrito bowl. Now what I would like to mention over here is it's not necessary that you have to make all these things uh, to, you know, enjoy a Mexican burrito bowl. You feel free to skip one or two recipes mentioned here. So to begin with, I'm adding half the portion of our cilantro lime rice. So let's just, you know, add it and fluff it all up. So the quantities mentioned here for all the recipes will easily serve two to three people. So you can make two to three Mexican burrito bowls with the quantity of ingredients that I have mentioned here in this video. So now that we have added our uh, cilantro lime rice, let me show you all how to assemble or put together the other ingredients. So this basically forms the base for our Mexican burrito bowl. Next, let us add half the quantity of our prepared rajma or kidney beans. Uh, one more healthier alternative for your rice would be quinoa. So now I'm adding stir fried veggies. Uh, feel free to add how much ever you want, little or you know more or just you know whatever floats your boat. There's no set quantities here. So let's add some fresh chilled pico de gallo or salsa fresca like some people like to call it. And once we've added this, let's get on to our next thing which is like probably my favorite thing about eating a Mexican burrito bowl. A big generous dollop of avocado mash. You can also use this avocado mash on your morning toast if you have leftovers. Let's add a spoon of hung yogurt. And that's it my friends. Our burrito bowl is ready to be enjoyed. If you've enjoyed watching this video, then please do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon for regular recipe updates. You can find more recipes on tomatoblues.com. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed putting together this delicious Mexican burrito bowl. If you tried this Mexican burrito bowl after watching this video, click a picture and share the picture with us on Instagram by tagging us at tomatoblues. Thank you so much for watching this video friends. We'll be back soon with another video or a recipe that will be useful for all of us. Till then, take care, stay home, stay safe and bye-bye.